If your goal is any of these things, losing weight, better mood, more energy, improved overall health and well-being, I'm going to tell you one thing that has a major impact on any and all of those things. You ready? Come here. Balanced blood sugar. And it's not just something that diabetics need to be concerned with. Listen, if you have a body, then you should be prioritizing balancing your blood sugar. So today I'm gonna give you two simple tips to help to balance that blood sugar. These are two things that are doable and that you can start to incorporate in your day-to-day -day life to help give yourself all those amazing benefits you're gonna get from stabilized blood sugar. Now I do have to say there's many different ways, many tips I could give you, but I just wanna give you two that have a lot of impact, a lot of bang for your buck. Okay, number one, I want you to get on the fiber train. Get on the fiber train really quick. When we eat fiber, it kind of acts almost as a gate for our blood sugar, okay? So it's gonna to help to tick, 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 keep that blood sugar stable. Every time you eat, I want you to stop and ask yourself, where is my fiber? Did you know that only 5% of Americans eat the daily allowance of fiber, the day, daily recommended dose, only 5%? That's not gonna be you. So. What are sources of fiber? Well, the best thing to do is just make sure you're eating non-starchy vegetables at every single meal, okay? Um, avocados have a lot of fiber. Berries have a lot of fiber. Chia seeds, hemp seeds, psyllium husk, um, flax meal, right? There's different forms of fiber. Even if you have air popped popcorn, that has some great amount of fiber in it. Just don't douse it with a ton of oil, okay? So that's number one, get on the fiber train. Number two, a short after dinner walk. I'm talking 10 or 15 minutes after you eat dinner is going to dramatically flatten that blood sugar curve, right? Which is very important, especially before bed. So again, I'm not talking about a long time and I'm not talking about power walking. I am talking about going out for a leisurely stroll. Hey, pretend like you, know, you live in Italy because those Italians do this all the time. Go out for a nice leisurely stroll after you eat dinner. It's going to help to stabilize your blood sugar. So once again, two tips, get on the fiber train. We want fiber with every single meal. And number two, a short after dinner walk, bring your family, bring your friends, bring your pets, okay? There you have it. It was great to see you here. I'll see you next time.